Welcome back to OOP series for PHP and in this episode we are going to learn about the auto loading. So firstly let's check out this interface folder we have created when we have learned about the interface and in the shapes.php folder we have this triangle class in which I have this get area class and get circumference class it's just not going to calculate the area but just for the demonstration and then I'm creating the object of this triangle class and then just echoing out the area so if I go to Chrome and say interface slash shapes dot PHP and you will see triangle area is here which is here but for working of all these things we need to include these two files so if I uncomment this and go here reload yeah we are getting the error so obviously we have to include that's not a big deal but suppose you have a large project and you need to implement hundred and hundreds of these include file and obviously this is not the one page <laughs> in the every page you have to include the files so it will be all tedious and one important thing that if you ever changed only one file then you have to change that file name in the every file wherever you are including it so php gives you an awesome thing called auto loading system so instead of these two what i am doing i am going to include only one file include and that file name is let's say uh, auto load dot php simple so now let's create that file so I will say auto load dot PHP PHP tag here I will say SPL SPL stands for standard PHP library okay then SPL underscore auto load underscore register and it's just like a um, magic you will see here I will give a function okay and in this function I will give the class okay and for now just see what this class will do so I will say echo this class and that's it okay so let's open Chrome reload and yeah we are getting error but at the top you can see it says shape interface actually this is where we are having system whenever we are using any file any class which we have to include then this autoloader file will get that class name here and here it's echoing out so we are echoing this shape interface okay so now what I will do I will just say include and whatever the class then concatenate with dot php file extension okay so reload and yeah it's working but there is one problem suppose my file name is having different so instead of shape interface i have shapes interface let's see what happened now oh it's now giving another problem it says something that even the auto loader doesn't resolve this thing so for that what we have to do we have to go here and firstly we have to check whether if it is available or not so I will say if uh, the file underscore exist and if the file exists then we have to give the file name so why not create a variable which is loading the file name so file name is equal to dollar class then concatenate with dot php and here I will say dollar file name so if this not exist then just return false otherwise include this file name so file name okay so go reload and yeah it's now saying the same error which is obviously the normal error which says shapes interface not found okay but if now I go and change that reload and yes it's working properly 
So this is the auto loading system where you don't have to do anything just include this and you don't have to include each and every file in your project. Okay, so this is very nice but in the next episode we will see the problem with this auto loading system and beyond auto loading what is there. So if you have any doubt feel free to message me, comment me and don't forget to like, subscribe and share and also you can like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.